what if I was to tell you that there's a free park up right in the centre of Scotland's ancient capital city. There's a new day to wash away the pain. So we are in Pittencreeve Park, which is known to the locals here as the Glen. Um, and this is in the heart of the newest city in the UK, which is Dunfermline. So the overnight parking is available at the rear of the Glen Car Park, which is overlooking the Glen Pavilion. There's quite a few spaces. There aren't any facilities as such, but there is a toilet nearby, which is open roughly from about nine o'clock to maybe five, six o'clock. And they're clean and adequate. So Pit and Creek Park is famous for two of its animals, the first being the majestic peacock, which has the freedom of Dunfermline, so can roam wherever it likes, and the second are the squirrels. <laughs> on donations and the volunteers we have 20 birds last I heard do the maths for me <laughs> we have 20 birds um, we have six out free roaming after an attack last year we lost our oldest bird and we have not had any amount of justice to our knowledge we aren't classed as victims because we're a group instead of a sole individual we have one bird after surviving the attack who is now completely recovered but still doesn't want to go out into the park. Donate through our Facebook page, our PayPal, we have an Amazon wish list. We can also donate in person down in the Avery. So this is a council building, it's run by the council but they don't fund you whatsoever? No. The council pay the electricity um, and that's pretty much it now. Initially they did pay the vet bills but they don't do that anymore. So how, how many volunteers do you have here? Around about 30 now. And how many years have you been here? Six. So just like Pitt and Wayne, there's quite a lot to do here in Pitt and Creek Park. As well as the Glen Pavilion, which is right behind us with the stage area. And um, this is mainly used for concerts, weddings and things like that. There's the Peacock Cafe. There's Pitt and Creek House, which used to be a museum but now um, everything from the museum is now housed in the Carnegie Library, um, which we're going to take you on a tour later. Um, there's also um, a statue here of Andrew Carnegie, because obviously Andrew Carnegie gifted Pitt and Creek Park to the people of Dunfermline. Um, there is also um, a monument from the Dalai Lama, who apparently visited in 2014. You don't even need to go into Dunfermline Town Centre. You could spend days here. There's so much to do. Stealing the money from the wishing well. And you go stuck over there. No. Kind of looks like it. all that remains of King Malcolm's Tower which was built by Malcolm III of Scotland and Queen Margaret in the mid 11th century. King Malcolm's Tower is actually used as Dunfermline's crest which you will see on the likes of Dunfermline Athletic football shirts.
What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could... So these are referred to as the Glen Gates and the story goes that young Andrew Carnegie used to stand at the gates looking in, wishing that he could come into the park. So when he died, he left the park to the people of Dunfermline so no one would ever have to do that again. Whisper the word. At the top of the park stands a statue in honour of Andrew Carnegie. And as much as he is quite a controversial character actually, he is nevertheless part of history. So he stands here overlooking his beloved Dunfermline forever. Sadly, this is all that remains of Dunfermline Palace, which was actually the birthplace of King Charles I. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is. Did you know that there are seven kings buried in Dunfermline Abbey, including Malcolm Canmore, Queen Margaret, and King Robert the Bruce? Has a heart as pure, no, not like your so this is the shrine of St Margaret. Margaret was an English princess who married Malcolm III. She founded the priory here and was later made a saint. Dreaming of you. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. What's the new additions for this trip then? Lights. We have lights. So wait a minute, 100 from me to the bank. I've got honey boom. <laughs> oh, come Not on. Yes. Come on, how much is it? 200. Oh, come on. To the bank. That was my first roll. Well done. <laughs> I still have 200. Left. I love it. One <laughs> Wow, there's not many of the hundreds left, is there? <laughs> Let me explain what I Go did wrong. Back when, when I still had Kitty Queen and Queen Bee. Champion, champion. I stopped dancing. Such uh, a cheater. I still, I <laughs> nobody likes shut that up bad and loser. Let me I didn't realize how much better those two were compared to that, and I, I should know. lead right now. And did you? No, because I was being stubborn and overconfident. So I hope that you enjoyed our tour of Dunfermline. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and comment below and join us next week for somewhere really exciting. Oh, there will be new ways. This is not the end.